a wedge is basically drawn to show orbitals to show bonds that are coming out of the plane bond because this is a 3d geometry not a 2d geometry so a wedge is drawn to show bonds coming out of the plane a dash is drawn to show bonds going into the plane so basically the 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 straight lines are the bonds in the plane of the paper the wedges are the bonds coming out of the plane of the paper the dashes are the bonds going into the plane of the paper so that's what you need to remember about wedges and dashes and since all of these are single bonds they are they are sigma they are, they are called sigma bonds all single bonds are sigma bonds now now that we are done with sp3 hybridization we know that the bond angles will be 120 degrees remember uh, sorry not 120 the bond angles will be 109.5 degrees remember that for sp3 hybridization now let's move to sp2 hybridization okay so let's say this is a carbon this will form sp2 hybridized orbital over here sp2 hybridized orbital over here and sp2 hybridized orbital over here and then there's a there's another carbon atom which has sp2 hybridized orbital like this sp2 hybridized orbital like this sp2 hybridized orbital like this so actually sigma bonds are formed by the linear overlapping of orbitals linear overlapping and by linear i mean uh, linear i mean head on overlapping so for example when you look at uh, a hydrogen orbital a hydrogen orbital is like this so you can see that they are overlapping linearly right they are overlapping head on they are overlapping head on and that's why we have a sigma bond similarly in this case they are overlapping head on so so we have sigma 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 and sigma so we have five sigma bonds over here right and then pi p, pi bonds are formed when the orbitals are overlapping sideways right so they will overlap like this sideways you have to show show sideways overlapping like this and this as a result this will give this will give an electron cloud over here so sideways overlapping gives us electron clouds okay so this will give an electron cloud over here which we shade dark we shade dark and an electron cloud over, over here which we do not shade so this electron cloud is known as a pi bond and it's actually represented as a double bond so so in a nutshell in a double bond one bond is sigma and the other will be pi because there was a single bond here between the carbon atoms and the side or uh, the sideways overlap of the empty p orbitals gave us the pi bond right so sigma and pi so we have sigma all sig single bonds will be sigma and then we will have pi this is sp2 hybridization so the bond angles in sp2 hybridization all of them are 120 degrees okay all of them are 120 degrees now let's talk about sp3 hybridization so sorry sp hybridization sp hybridization so sp hybridization is simply this two sp hybridized orbitals i'll still write the bond angles so that you don't forget still empty is sp two hybrid two sp hybridized orbitals and two p orbitals yeah then one electron in each so this the head on overlapping so let's say this is a carbon atom so the head on overlap and this is another uh, so let's say we have um, sp3 hybridized carbon atoms two sp hybridized carbon atoms so you can see this is head on overlap and even this will be head on overlap because this is hydrogen so you can see this is head on overlap so this will be sigma this will be sigma this will be sigma and then the remaining p orbitals are like this one is this and the other is like this so you don't need to know how to draw this uh, for sp you do not need to know draw need to know how to draw these for sp2 you need to know how to draw them but for sp you do not you do not need to know how to draw them so i'll just tell you what we get as a result we get this in which this is a sigma bond this is a sigma bond and this is a sigma bond and then we have two pi bonds okay so all single bonds will be sigma bonds 
and in a double bond we will have one sigma one pi in a triple bond we will have one sigma two pi so just remember